Hello everyone, myself Sonnendu De. Let's have a quick demo on how to explore data of Delta Lake files using serverless SQL tools in Azure Synapse Analytics. Let's start. Now we are in the Azure Synapse workspace. Let us go to the Synapse Studio. In the Synapse Studio, let us first check the serverless SQL pool. For that, let us go to the Manage tab. Under the Manage tab, we have the SQL pools. Here we can see under the SQL pools, there is already built-in serverless pool is created. We know every workspace comes with a pre-configured serverless SQL pools that is built in. By using the serverless SQL pool, we can run the SQL script without reserving or provisioning the compute resource. And it builds based on the amount of data process to run the query. Now let us go to the data source. In the data tab, under the linked option, we are already connected to the Azure Data Lake Gen2 account. In this Gen2 account, there is a container called Delta Lake. Under this Delta Lake container, this sales directory contains the Delta Lake files. Because this sales directory contains the Delta Log file. That's why this sales directory contains the Delta Lake file. So here, sales directory is the root Delta Lake folder. Now we will explore data of the Delta file using serverless SQLs. So before that, what is Delta Lake? Delta Lake is an open source storage layer on the top of cloud storage Data Lake. It brings acid transaction on Data Lake to Apache Spark and the big data workloads. Now to explore the data of the Delta Lake files using the serverless SQLs, we have to go to the root Delta Lake folder. Here sales directory is the root Delta Lake folder. Right click the sales directory and click on the new SQL script and select the top 100 rows. Here you see the folder path is this is the Data Lake Gen2 account. This is container, this is the root Delta Lake folder. Here we have to select the Delta format as the file type. This SQL script contain open rosette function. Open rosette functions connect to the remote data set and fetch the data in the rosette format, in the table format. This open rosette function takes two parameters here. One is the full URL of the delta log folder and the file format is delta. So to explore the data of the delta files, we have to run this SQL script on the serverless SQL pool. Now let us run this script. These data are displayed from the delta lake files. Here we can see there are total 4 columns in the Delta Lake files. Product ID, product name, category and the price. Now see the query. Select start from this open row set. You can consider data of the open row set as a table. Select start from the table. Select start from the open row set data. So here you can use the where clause to filter data. You can perform the aggregation on this data. We will be performing these activities in few seconds. By default the data is displayed in the table format. We can also see this data in the various chart format. Here you can see there are various chart type, line, area, var, pie. Here in the query, we are fetching the data from Azure Data Lake Gen2 account, which is the external to the Synapse workspace. Instead of using this full URL, we can also fetch the data from this account using different way. So to do that, we have to create one reference or pointer to this Gen2 account. So to create the pointer or reference to this Gen2 account, we have to create one something called external data source in the synapse. This external data source will map to this Azure Data Lake Gen2 account. To create the external data source, we have to create first logical data warehouse LDW. We will be creating this logical data warehouse on the top of Azure storage. Now let us create the logical data warehouse. Now run this script, create database sales DB. Yeah, now the query is executed successfully. Now let us refresh the user database and select the sales DB. This is the sales DB we have just created. Now we have created our logical data warehouse. So here under the workspace we can see the SQL database. Here we can see there is a database sign but with the power option right. So this is the sales database. Under the sales database you can see the external tables, external resources. So basically this sales database does not contain any table or data. It only stores the metadata or the connection detail to connect to the external data sources like the Azure Data Lake Gen2. This sales DB is the data exploration database. We can export the data from the Delta Lake using this database. This logical data warehouse is a relational layer on the top of Azure data source. This will only contain the external table views and the metadata to connect to the external data sources. Now let us create the data source under this database. Now let us create external data source called sales data source. So this external data source will connect to this Azure Gen2 account and the container. Now let us run this query to create this sales data source. Let us run this. 
Now the query is executed successfully. Now let us check the external resources. Under the external resource, there is external data source. So here, if we refresh this option, we will see the sales data source. So this is the sales data source we have just created. So this sales DB is the logical data warehouse on the top of Azure storage. This sales DB does not contain any table or the data. So this logical data warehouse contains the connection details to the Azure Data Lake Gentry account and the container. So this is the metadata or the connection details. Now to use this data source, let us copy this query and modify it. I am copying and pasting it here. So let us remove this option. This is the data source. Here let us copy this sales data source and let us add one parameter, data source. Let us assign this to sales data source. This is our updated query. This function will contain the data source as the sales data source. This sales data source is nothing but this URL up to this container, delta lake container. After this container, this directory will be appended to fetch the data from the delta lake file. So this query will explore the data till this delta lake sales directory. Now let us run this query. This query is executed successfully. Now all the data is displayed in the table format. Now let us perform some aggregation. Here let us group by this query by category. And let us update the select statement with this hello. So here we will perform in group by on the category and find the number of rows in each category, average price in each category and sum of all the price in each category. So see this is the product ID, product name, category and the price. So now let us run the query. So this is our aggregated data. Let us run the query again. See for each category we got the total count, average price and the sum price. Now let us see the data in a chart. So here see by default the line chart is selected. Here let us select the category. Here this is showing category wise total count. This is the total count. If we change this to the average price. Now this is showing average price for each category. Now let us change this to the bar chart. Here you can see this bar chart is showing the average price for each category. Now let us change it to the column chart and change it to the summation price. This column chart is showing total price for each category. So here we not only see the data in the table format but also in the several chart format. So from this video we saw how to export the data from the delta lake file using the serverless SQL pool. Hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.